Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload because sometimes I get off track and do something kooky like Moana party favor ideas. For Malina's sixth birthday, we are having a birthday party that is Moana themed, of course, because that's all we watch in my house and that's all I hear. I've sung it. I've enacted it. There are costumes. It's a thing in my household. So I wanted to do something Moana themed for the party favors and I had a heck of a time coming up with something. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the candy filled plastic cups and plastic toys. I came up with the idea of doing an oceanic terrarium type thing. I first went on the Dollar Tree to see what I could get for cheap. And Dollar Tree had fish bowls for a dollar a piece, which is a fantastic price. So then I started to think about what an oceanic terrarium, Moana themed oceanic terrarium would contain in it. There would be a plant, there would be some seashells, there would be hopefully a fish. The thing that makes it all Moana would be the heart of Te Fiti. So I found on Amazon these aquarium stones and they're kind of plastic-ish and they had green, but the most awesome part is they glow in the dark. They come in all different shapes. So I got one, ordered one box of them. So we got a green paint pen and we started drawing the Heart of Tafiti symbols on it. And we basically looked up on the phone for a Heart of Tafiti go by and I had Mauricio draw it because I am not artistically inclined. I can do anything digital, I cannot draw. And that is going to serve as the heart of Tafiti for this terrarium. So the next thing that I looked for was sand. And legitimately, I could buy little containers of sand that for $3 a container, or I could buy playground sand for $5 for a, I think, 35 pound bag. So we went for the $5 for 35 pound bags and we'll just use the leftover sand in the garden. Then I took the sand and I determined about how much sand would be needed for the bottom of the container. And I put that in a Ziploc snack baggie with a piece of paper that says Heart of Tafiti. The next thing we did is we got sand dollars and starfish and seashells. And we just bought these in bulk on Amazon and the links to everything will be down in the description box below. So if you are interested in making these as party favors, you will not have to look around for anything. We put the sand dollars, the shells and the starfish in little zip, little tiny Ziploc bags. You wanted to keep them kind of confined so they don't move around and get broken during transportation. And then we put the heart of Tafiti in its own bag with this little printable that I did. So I also wanted to have some sort of greenery in there so it wouldn't be so bland and boring. And so I bought aquarium plants and I just cut them off at the exact height that I needed. And the final thing that I got were these adorable little floating fish. Now I will tell you there was a time that I actually considered giving regular fish and I was like, the parents will hate me. I am not gonna do that. <laughs> so what I ended up doing is I got these little glass floating fish and I bought them in bulk on Amazon. And I had to shorten the string significantly because um, they're just too long to use with this terrarium. And we're putting a printable of how to assemble the item. And I purchased the Moana font on Etsy so I could make these printables myself. We are giving this to the kids as a kit. We will put all the components into a white paper bag. We will close up the white paper bag and seal it with an adorable little Moana themed bow type thing. And it's a nice little craft activity that the kids can do with their parents. It's not hard, it's easy. Most kids of, of older than you know four will be able to handle it. Obviously with adult supervision because these things are fragile. So to assemble the terrarium, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna actually put the plant in because the plant is weighted on the bottom and you need the sand to cover up that weight. And then you're gonna dump the sand in and then you're gonna start putting the seashells and the heart of Tafiti down. And then when you fill it up with water, you wanna fill 
fill it gently. I actually let the water run on my hand and let it run into the container because if you put the water directly into the container, it will move the sand around and the shells and it's just easier this way. And then I flute the fish and then you are done. This is the bowl. When will yeah, be in like but that, but the water is not think. in yet. You film it? This is so how this video. is... Oh, I thought you were... No, oh, but it's practicing. This is Hello, y'all. You know, today we're gonna do this thing. It's called Drawing the Hearts of the Feeding. Um, in today's mm -hmm. video, I'm gonna use this beautiful marker, which is a decor, decor, glass paint marker. Which is uh, contained Dad, within this. Um, Dada, you have to speak more louder. Okay. Yeah, you're mumbling, Dada. To, in today's episode, we're gonna use this. Yeah, um, it's still mumbling. No, it's true. You're not enunciating. This is how you're supposed to talk in a video. Oh. That ah. is supposed to have. This is how you talk in a video. Which is, hey, lipstick face. What's going on with you? <laughs> I put some lip I put some lipstick on. I've been staring at the water for as long as I can remember. I'm not doing this again. No, done. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one down here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.